Alright, hello everyone and welcome to Marvel Man's Game Room. Today we're going to be continuing our prelude to Batman the Arkham Knight comics. And we are on issue number one. So let's crack this boy open and start reading. Alrighty. Here we go. What the hell happened in there? Batman, what happened? We need a body bag and a freezer truck now. All units, emergency action at the Monarch Theater. Commissioner, you've got to see it inside. We found Officer Cash setting back up to the cathedral. Death of Arrival. Excellent news, sir. What time is sunrise? Approximately 20 minutes, so you can finally get some rest. Well, what do you know? Christmas freaking early. Gifts are falling from the sky. Electrocutioner, but you're... Dead? Is that what you're gonna whine? That was my boss, badass. You took him out a few years back and stole his gloves. Right off the corpse. Even you gotta agree, that ain't right. Luckily, some of us ain't as stupid as we look. I paid attention to the boss. And I knew where he kept his whatchamacall prototypes. And I knew just how to make one of these. Those Wayne Industry geeks tweak it all up for me. Just before I tested my new gloves on his surprise his little head. And now, I'm the all-new, all-improved electrocutioner. Don't science kick ass. You've got the exact same problem as your old boss. Stop! You talk too much. <laughs> Oracle. Batman, are you there? I've been helping coordinate for my dad because every remaining cop is busy booking the scuzz balls you left all over AC. Like usual, it seems like the city's starting to quiet down. Just in time for sunrise. Not quite enough. <clears throat> Tell your father he's got one more scuzz ball waiting for him on top of the old Sifton Hill building. Tell him to bring a warm blanket and a dentist with him. We'll talk later. Ugh. The bat has won this night across Gotham. He has it. He, as he has so many others, by knowing how to use fear, he leaves you alive and too scared to move, too frightened to breathe his name. It's his greatest power. But soon he'll face an enemy he can't frighten, someone that knows him too well to hide from the obvious broken man he's become. No. And as I strike, men like you will believe we are on the same side. But you'll be wrong. Because I know just how meaningless the rest of your lives really are to the whole story. P please <sighs> That is my power. Master Bruce, are you sure 12 hours is enough rest for you? Rest after all you've been through? I'd hate for you to fall asleep face first into your steak or and oatmeal. You're quite the comedian, Alfred. A life spent in the company of a fool will do that to you, sir. 
cleanup of Arkham City has already begun, faster than expected. Commissioner Gordon has assigned an officer named Cash to supervise, but it won't be easy. Resources are slim, and they say some parts of Gotham might be lost forever. I guess Gordon's about the only sane person left with any authority. I suppose he is, since more people of influence in Gotham don't seem willing to put their face where their money is. Really, this again? You know that hurts, right? Indeed I do. If not now, when, sir? It's not how I do things, Alfred. I made a vow. You made a naive promise as a six-year-old boy, and you've held it longer than any other sane person would. But nights like the one we just experienced are becoming more and more common, and even you must start to wonder how long Batman's luck can hold. If tomorrow night the worst were to occur, how will your actions have helped Gotham in any in the long term? Batman's made a difference. The night is safer. Safer for families to walk the streets. Safer for them to come home. That's only half of the equation, Master Bruce. I simply suggest that you use your... F you, that your focus on Gotham's nights has left the, its days vulnerable. And one cannot thrive without the other. You are by birth and fate in the unique position, Bruce. And this latest crossroads, and perhaps an opportunity to permanently heal a wound that you've been bandaging over. Gotham wants Batman, but it needs Bruce Wayne. I know what holds you back, Master Bruce. But I believe you've already made your parents proud a thousand times over. Perhaps it's time to make yourself proud. Can we just cover the face, please? It's freaking me out. Paul, please. Maintain your composure and professionalism. Commencing the Y-shaped incision over the breastplate. Note victim's skin is charred and flaky. Holy crap, he's got a flake layer of skin? Correction, victim has a secondary decaying layer of terminal com coverage bonded to his actual it's making a sound <laughs> artificial dermal layer has peeled away revealing a flash drive we should call in the SWAT guys and damn it Paul don't touch <laughs> <laughs> Arkham City, several nights after the death of the Joker. As much as I hate to intrude, sir, it is almost 4.30 a.m. and your better half does have business meetings starting at 8 a.m. An hour or two of sleep should not be advised for a creature of the night i'll sleep when i'm dead alfred d why won't you leave us alone and why are you calling us alfred because i can't bring myself to call a grown man tweedle dumb all right you win i'm done for the night given today's schedule i'm delighted to hear that now make your way to the southeast corner of the infect, where you will find the car, waiting your bright and cheerful disposition. Wayne Tower. All of us in this room are the people in Gotham that can actually get things done. We are the people that we've been want waiting 
We are the people that we've been waiting for, and I think it's time we rose to the occasion. Of course, some of us in this room are the financial resource that the more politically minded turn to every four years when it's time for re-election. The other of us have a, the political position to effect change, but lack the financial resources that turn the difficult into possible. We currently have a hold in the middle of the city, a hole in the middle of our city where our ex-mayor placed the city's worst denizens. Against all logic, he sacrificed the safety and integrity of Gotham and put our city in the hands of a privately funded army, an army that quickly fell out of his control and allowed the villains to seize their day. As you all know, I was trapped there myself, and it was an eye-opening experience. I saw brave men and women like Officer Aaron Cash here continue to fight for something so many of us had hoped to see brushed under the rug. We squandered not only part of the city, but the people that make up that city. Emergency workers, cops, firemen. We lose too many people who run towards innocence and danger and not away from it. The soul of Gotham can no longer afford to lose these brave citizens. With the help of my trusted advisor and company president, Lucius Fox, I put together a plan to put the full financial force of the Wayne Foundation behind a movement to change the city once and for all. And I hope all of Gotham's leaders in one way or another, join me. As overly dramatic a gesture as this is, we need an even more dramatic invest investment of hearts and minds. It's time to let the sun in, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to build the future. You look tired. It was a 10-hour meeting with actual people, Lucius. True. Usually you pay me the big bucks for that. I'd say we did pretty well considering the city has no real mayor. The deputy mayor is the least decisive person I've ever seen. Hell, he even ate one of every type of sandwich you ordered for lunch. Just to be safe, I noticed. But we moved the ball a little down the field, Lucius. Journey of a thousand miles and all that. Well, it's a journey you started when you tossed the Joker's body on the hood of that cop car, Bruce. It's hopefully the big beginning of the end of all that's infected this city. I can't let myself think that way, that way this early in the game, Lucius. Do me a favor and call Commissioner Gordon. I'm disappointed he didn't come today. Well, it's not in Jim's nature to be seen with the likes of us. To him, we're part of the problem. Speak for yourself. See you tomorrow, Lucius. Stop hovering there waiting for me to say you were right. Sir, I simply come down to patch some old wounds you are litter littered with. Hmm, I'm sure. Overall, today was a good first step towards making the lasting change in Gotham. Exciting to hear. I had hoped the sunlight would bring some much-needed clarity. So please do not feel at all obliged to tell me how right I was. It's enough that you know it. And live with the fact every single day. I couldn't agree. I so need a new butler. I couldn't agree more, sir. Now I'll let you get back to... Greetings, Batman. Salutations, Gotham. Tonight, you've never seen me... You'd never see me... Thought you'd never see me again, did you? What the hell? <clears throat> I'm 
I'm coming at you dead from somewhere inside Gotham City. <laughs> I knew that cran-faced fool had a backup plan. Turn the crap down. The clown's always got some other freaking scheme on the drawing board, which is why he was such a pain in the ass to work with. Mr. Abramovich, you worked with that lunatic. You can back me up on that, can't you? You are correct, Cobblepot, but I must insist you call me Mr. Hammer when we are working. My brother's hoping to use your real use our real names when we restart our stage careers. Huh. Can't fault anyone for having a dream, Mr. Hammer and Captain Sickle. It is, after all. What is Gotham if not a place where a man can reinvent himself? I mean, I've turned the Penguin into a worthwhile name, for goodness sake. And why have you hired us back, Mr. Cobblepot? Because the Cobblepots have always believed in tomorrow, Mr. Abramovich. We are a family as old as the city, and we, are, we understand the opportunity that comes with every sunrise. And because Wayne and the rest of us up our crust... Brigitte will undoubtedly leave the true son of Gotham out the cold for once more. I heard you back because, even though I was knocked low in the recent madness, Joker isn't the only one. The Joker isn't the only one that understands the importance of contingencies. Now I need you boys to go do some diggings to find out where the hell Jonathan Crane is hiding himself. No one has seen him in months, not since the excitement last year in the asylum. I'm worried sick about the poor dear. And it would be so nice to see Scarecrow once again and calm his this town down. That gives my body to Harley Quinzel, will be awarded to the tune of one hundred million dollars. Let go of me! Aw, oh, come on, Gleason. Let us make you look right. Right. So we can collect that cash from Quincy. We'll give you a cut. Wait, I thought you said he was kill we was killing him first. That's what I meant by cutting, you ruined my surprise. <laughs> but why Arkham Asylum, Batman? Because the Joker had a separate message just for me. He placed bombs inside all of Gotham's walls, set to go off in one hour. Okay, I'll get to work on cracking the signal. No, Oracle. He's rigged them all. To go off if any of them are tampered with. I need you to focus emergency services and stay in communication with Nightwing and Robin on the streets in case the crazies make a play for the Joker's body. I'm heading to Arkham because he claims that somewhere inside I can find the one override code that'll disarm the bombs completely. You're assuming the Joker's telling the truth. I know, but it's all I've got at the moment. I'm going radio silent, Oracle. Can't risk an errant signal setting off the explosive. If you don't hear from me within 20 minutes, assume the worst. I can't wait to take you down, Batman. At my time. I just need to make sure the Joker doesn't reach out his cold dead hand to get to you first. The clown got him here thinking the walls of Arkham City were welcome, were coming down. But the goons of his I killed earlier tonight told a different story. About how the Joker got the man-made 
the man made out of clay to move all of the explosives to the abandoned Arkham Asylum. Because it's the perfect place for Batman to die. Concentrate all the bombs in this room. Including the door itself. Parent. There are no cheat codes and no extra life. It's game over. See you in hell, Batsy. <laughs> hmm. Well then. The night's not a total loss. Explosion at Arkham Island. All units immediately. This is Bullock. I'm in a chopper on my way to the island. Media is with me. Her name's Val. She followed me. Get uniforms to meet me on the ground in five. Inform everyone to lock and load. We're going in hot. Oh yes, wonderful idea. Because guns have always been so effective in Arkham. As they frighten no one and empower even the weakest among us. Blood and death. Blood and death. Death and blood. It's the same show over and over, isn't it? Speaking of which, let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. I will return, Batman. After all, now that Arkham City has fallen, you will pay for what you have done to me. Fear will tear Gotham to shreds. Things are about to get good. I will return, Batman. You will pay for what you've done to me. Fear will tear Gotham to shreds. Gotham docks. You must have really bought a crappy GPS to get lost here, pal. Please stop. I'll give you any... <clears throat> I don't need you to give me any nothing. I'm taking your car, your wallet. And that pretty little wife of yours, I locked up in the trunk, too. Are you the... Yes. Your plates are from three states away, which means you probably have luggage in your car. I'd like to borrow some clothes. Of course, anything. After you get your wife out the trunk, I mean. This is Gordon. Who is this? Jim, it's time to meet. Agreed. If it's really you, you know where to find me. I have his body. Give me one hour. <laughs> it's me. I'm okay. Just need a drop. Lacey Towers, roof. Ten minutes. Gah! Hold on, buddy. I have one more call to make. Uh. Welcome back, sir. The city was certainly rocked by the devastation at Arkham. Word over the police scanner indicates Detective Bullock found you dead. <laughs> I can always depend on Bullock to get basic facts wrong. Or maybe he's right. Maybe I'm Clayface. I should be so lucky. You and your, and your un, new uniform, sir. It would... I would recommend taking it slow first night off the lot instead of engaging in any epic firefights. Duly noted. Can I assume you are not coming straight back to the manor? You can. I need to meet with Gordon and finally close a very cold ca old case. Excellent. And please remember, you have four meetings with the first, uh, with the first beginning at 9 a.m. sharp. Also, your plane is currently circling above, should you wish to use it. No need, Alfred. I'll walk. Somewhere outside Gotham City. I had to pull him out of there. He was still killing people from the grave. The body was booby-trapped, took out the coroner and her assistant. 
Not sure what it holds since I haven't been near the computer since I found it. Take it and do what you do. I'll take. I'll let you know if there's anything useful. I know you will. Let's get this over with. He was just as dangerous, dead as he was alive. Not anymore. Tonight it ends. Famous last words. On my way back, Alfred. Outstanding. I'm uploading the contents of the flash drive found on the Joker's body. Still a feign excite. Shall I feign excitement for that as well? Just keep it on a protected drive and give me a quick read of the file name. Hmm. It seems you have stumbled upon something called the Last Will and Testament of the Joker. Next, words of fire. All right, and that is the end of Volume 1 of Batman Arkham Knight Prelude to Arkham Knight. So if you enjoyed this and want to see more, like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I'll catch you all next time on Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace out.